to do hi guys welcome to the new video if you are new subscribe i upload every day video i just finished watching lord of the rings rings of power season one episode seven and i want to share my thoughts what i think about the episode without spoilers it was fucking boring okay not much action in this one basically the story is progressing but it's fucking boring this series is fucking boring as fuck okay I don't care about those characters, seriously. I don't care about this fucking Nori. I don't care about this homeless motherfucker, ho homeless Gandalf, okay? I don't care about fucking Galadriel. She annoys me a little bit. So the visuals, of course, are great, but if the writing sucks, uh, the music and the visu visuals not gonna save the fucking series. And I'm gonna say the story, who write this fucking story? is not a good writer okay because i don't have this feeling when i watch house of dragon i just praise yeah this is fucking cool amazing now i'm just finished watching and i am like bored to death fucking like who cares about those characters i don't care so i'm gonna jump into the spoiler section the visuals of course great the music great i like the end music it's fucking epic but at the same time the story is fo so fucking boring i don't care about those characters I don't fucking care, okay? So basically, fear shot, spoilers. Galdriel just wake up and she was like, oh, where I am? Oh shit, the volcano just erupted and everyone just, you know, uh, basically was dead, yes, around her. And Theo, who fucking cares about fucking Theo? No one cares, just die, just die. Ah. Basically, Theo character just came to her. She was like, hey, come here. Let's go, motherfucker. Okay. So they just travel. And we got another shot. Like, basically, the queen just helped some people in the fucking tavern. And tavern is burning. You just watched the episode, yes? And basically, she is blind. So that's a good stuff. That's a good stuff. Because we got some consequences. I was thinking maybe she's going to fucking die. <laughs> Someone die in this fucking series because I hate this fucking series already. It's so annoying. Like, come on. I got this feeling. Seriously, some episodes of Outpost are better written than this. And Outpost is like fucking 1% of the budget of this. Whatever. Basically, you know, the queen just saves, yes, some people and she just get blind. Basically, she's blind now. Whatever. So they just travel through the fucking forest, yes. And they have some stupid dialogue, and this commander, captain, whatever. Uh, he was looking for Isildur. Where is Isildur? We, 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 we. No one cares, okay? Because Isildur basically gonna survive. We know Isildur gonna kill Sauron, so uh, gonna cut off the fucking ring. So it's like, come on, what the fuck? Why are you try try to treat me like Isildur is dead? It's so stupid. And we got hard foods. It's no one cares about those fucking hobbits. Ah, I hate this stuff already. <laughs> what is going on? Maybe guys, guys, you you are right. <laughs> the series are too sucks. I'm not gonna judge before the finale, okay? But this episode is like one of the worst. So the hard foods just go yes with this fucking homeless Gandalf. And they just came to those another hardwoods. Nori and this Gandalf just came to the hardwoods, and the tree are dying. Oh no! Because the evil is rising. Who fucking cares? No one cares. It's so stupid. So basically, Gandalf tried to save the day. He just touched the tree. And we got some more bullshit drama. Like some fucking hardwood just came to. Hey, you are really trying to try to save us? And basically some fucking from this tree just fall on this fucking herpes and it's we got drama. Oh no, this is the bad homeless Gandalf. We must he just go away, Gandalf, okay? Uh what a fucking stupid storytelling. I hate those kind of bullshit drama like we know he is good and basically yeah he just froze in the previous episode, yes, Nori hand. Now he is basically <laughs> One kid of the tree just fall down on this kid and it's like some forced bullshit drama. I hate this. And it came out like he just saved yes, this fucking forest or whatever, this garden. And the Harpoods was like, hey, basically this another 
three of the hobbits, yes, I'm gonna call them hobbits. Talk to him like you have the map, just go there to the fucking stars, whatever, get out, motherfucker. And he was like, okay, and Nori just give him a, a apple and that's it. And on the next day, the garden just alive and they have fucking apples. Let's go. And basically the whole story telling was like about this. We got, uh, of course, this Nori friend. She was in the water and basically those creepy dudes who looks like from the Prometheus fucking movie. Yes, uh, was following those fucking Gandalf, yes, this homeless Gandalf. And basically they are like, uh, the Nori just <laughs> give them the direction. It's so stupid. It was at night, yes. And basically she was like, no, he go in the different direction. And they just came very close to this Nori character. And this father just give the torch, yes, of the fucking fire. They just froze the torch and basically blew up, blew up the the fucking apples of the hard foods and whatever, yes? Because they just making some supplies, yes? To the winter or something like that. So they just blew this up. And I was thinking they maybe killed those hard foods, but no. <laughs> I would be like, yeah, this is cool. They got some balls to kill those stupid characters because I hate them. But no, basically they just blew up the food. Okay, who cares? And it's all fault Nori, because she was like, no, he go in the different direction. Now you don't have food, you stupid bitch. So basically, any creature okay, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, okay. Basically, they just decide it was so out of nowhere. Like, I don't fucking get it. Basically, you know, the an, another day, Nori was crying like, oh, we don't have apples. We don't have supplies. We, 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 we. So she was uh, decided, you know. And I hate this speech like her father just gave like we are hard foods, we are good guys, we are we can survive this, we can go and survive. Shut up a cup, no one cares. Basically, Nori just decided I must go to help friend. And her friend was like, Okay, I'm going with you. You are going alone, and basically her mother is going to. I hope her mother dies. I think her mother gonna die and the chief gonna fucking die, I hope. Basically, the chief was going like, Yeah, I'm going too. It's so out of nowhere, like, why? What this fuck is this riding? I don't know, maybe they are like, yeah, he grow a apple, so maybe he can grow one more time apples and we don't have to basically just fucking walk. Yes, I don't know, it's so stupid to find food. So stupid idea, like, it came out of nowhere, this plot, like, Nori, I get it, she can go and find this motherfucker, yes, homeless Gandalf. I get it, her friends too, like, okay, she cares about Nori, but I don't care about her mother, I don't care, I, I don't wanna to basically her mother just go on this adventure, I don't wanna have this fucking chief of the Harfoot just go on this adventure to find this homeless Gandalf, it's so stupid, basically they just go to warn the fucking from those uh, Prometheus creatures, yes, that they burn the food. And we got another storytelling, yes, Galadriel just have some dialogue with the Theo on the forest, it's so stupid, like, Oh, my husband dies, I was dancing at the fucking flowers. Wee, 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 wee. I hate this dialogue, it's so, I don't care about those characters. And it's not good, because I supposed to care about those characters, but I hate them. I, I heard some stupid dialogue and I am laughing to myself, like, yeah, <laughs> What the fuck is stupid line? I, I just talk to myself when I watch this stuff. So basically, they just have talk like, my husband dies, wee 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 wee, and my brother is dead. And this is not your fault, Theo, that you basically just give the weapon to the enemy. Yeah, this is your fucking fault, motherfucker. And he was like, yeah, but my home is destroyed. Where is the fucking, you know, logic in this or whatever? And she was like, I don't see this. And basically, or just approach, they just hide, of course. I mean, it was familiar shot from Lord of Rings, like Frodo just hiding, yes, with those another hobbits uh, on the tree, and basically the fucking riders just uh, running away. So this was familiar shot. If you watch the episode, we get it. Galadriel, the steel just hiding the fucking, you know, and they just uh, orcs just like, what you are smelling? I smell the fucking ashes. Okay, they just go. No one cares. And basically. 
this captain was like, oh, I lost Isildur, Isildur, my, my son, wee, 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 oh, 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 no one fucking cares. Uh, and she is, he is mad about this guy, real, I guess, because, oh, I never should take this elf on the fucking water. And basically, you know, they just came to this fucking, how to say, like, camp, yes, they have this camp, the, those people. And the queen is fucking blind. That's cool. And Galadriel just came to this fucking Tio. They have some pointless dialogue. I don't care about this dialogue. And Tio just go and find out. Oh, there are some, you know, injured people. And this is my mother. And his mother just approached. Oh, his mother is alive. And the elf is alive too. I don't care. Seriously, I don't fucking care. But you know what? I'm gonna say the actress who played this mother of Tio is fucking pretty. I'm not gonna lie. Galadriel is not pretty. She is not my type. If that makes sense. She annoys me. But this mother of Tio, she is cool. So basically, you know, he and Tio just hug together. Yes, the elf. And they were like, yeah, we are cool. Galadriel just approached the queen and she was like, hey. She was like on the knees. It was so stupid. <sighs> So fucking bad, and they she was crying like, oh, no one knew me in Numenor, and she was like, I am not a Numenor bitch, and she was save the tears because I'm gonna fight, and we just go to basically just I don't know what they try to do. It's so stupid, because basically they just travel yes back to the Numenor, and uh, she is blind yes of course, and she was like, okay, don't cry i'm gonna be back with another soldiers why because the volcano just explode so what are you gonna fight in the fucking ashes in the volcano it's so stupid you get it, the idea like what the fuck is this who fucking write this stuff i i don't get it what they try to do if that makes sense because the story is so confusing like uh, what this queen tried to do just go back to the numenor take another soldiers and what fight in the fucking ashes or uh, it's so stupid so basically this captain was like, oh no, he was crying. Oh, I don't want to fight because my son is dead. He's not dead. Shut the fuck up. And basically, yeah, this is cool scene like those pr Prometheus motherfuckers just basically burn this fucking food. It was fun. And we got some scene with this Halbrand. Yes, he's the Saron, of course. He was injured a little bit and she was like, okay. I must take him to the, I must go to my king to basically take the punishment. Wee, 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 wee. And uh, you need some elfish fucking cure. So he just go to the, with the Galadriel with him. And basically he's fucking Sauron. So he gonna just go there and I don't know, fuck some elves. <laughs> it will be cool to see this. Whatever, basically, so stupid. And the elf, another motherfucker just bow before this captain. And it was so stupid. And love live the king. They just share his name like he was supposed to be the king, and he do basically nothing. He just nothing does, and it's so stupid those people. So basically, we got another plotline with the fucking uh, this Doring character and his wife and this motherfucker. Basically, he he was like, okay, let's ask my father. Okay, this Elrond, yes, and Durin and. Can I dig cause elf basically elf the fucking Elrond just bow and he was like please save us kind we we have right here some five hundred years you you got our supplies or something like that. They just exchange one for me really, yes or whatever. And this plotline goes to nowhere too, it's so stupid, like they can't figure out something fucking interesting. Because you watch this stuff, yes? At the end, basically, this fucking demon that Gandalf just fight him, he's awake. No one cares. We know he's not gonna be destroyed. Who fucking cares? Don't try to treat me like this fucking demon gonna die. He's not gonna die. He's gonna survive. And he's not gonna destroy the kingdom because the kingdom of the dwarves is gonna fucking survive too. Don't try to treat me, stupid series, okay? It's so bad. Basically, Aaron just give him a contract and he just have talk with the Durin and he was like, no, we can't trust elves. And he was like, I trust Elrond. Elrond is like my brother. He is cool. He is my friend. I love him so much. And the dad was like, 
okay, but there is, I, I am on the diet side. Like, yeah, there is higher power and basically elves should die. And he was like, okay, no. And they just start to dig, yes, because they have some dialogue with Elrond, like, oh, he just cry and uh, you are my friend. And Elrond just go. And basically he was just, he just put this mithril behind this leaf and the leaf just cure himself, yes, this fucking leaf. You watch this stuff. And basically this Durin just scream Elrond and they just start digging and basically they sneak in digging and they have some cool dialogue. They are not annoying annoying like those another characters. I'm gonna give them that. This Elrond and this Durin and his wife is not that annoying like those. And this king. I'm gonna say the king, the father of the Durin is the best actor in the series. He he give very good performance, his voice and his acting. He is good king of the dwarves. So basically, because he wants the elves to die, and that's nice. They just dig and they have some jokes like, oh, I just give you the win because I am cool. Yeah, you are my friend. Let's go. Basically, they just dig and they just see this fucking hole and there are so many mid-free yeah, stuff. And the father just approached, oh, you motherfucker, take the elf. And they have some talk like, hey. Uh, my mother, when your mother die or whatever, you, when you are born, you are cool. You have this beer and I know knew you gonna be the king, motherfucker. The dad just saved him. And the elves must should die and he just, you know, say something like, yeah, but this is my, he, uh, Elrond is like, he just came out from my mother. And the dad was like, shut the fuck up, motherfucker. He just take his fucking right here. The stupid stuff and you are not the king now you're not gonna be the king motherfucker okay and the he he just say it's not gonna need it because he tried to pick up this and you're like no you are done stupid bitch done basically treat elf like your brother you stupid motherfucker and those don't say like uh, my <laughs> elrond just came out from my mother it's so stupid stupid motherfucker and now he, he refused, like, oh, maybe I'm going to pick this up. And the dad was like, no, leave this. It's not going to need it for you. And I like the dad, because it's cool. So basically, they have the dialogue, yes, this Durian and his wife, like, you're going to be the king, not your brother, not another uh, lord of Dorf. You're going to be the king, and this mine's going to be ours, blah, 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 let's go. So I like the relationship. And basically, the dad just through a leaf, yes, to the hole and this bear rock or whatever, this demon, that Gandalf, you show no pass! Just so he was awakened and no one cares. He's not going to be destroyed. We know that. Uh, basically, he's not going to destroy the kingdom of the dwarves. We know that because the dwarves are in the fucking hobby, yes? So it's like stupid shit. And I feel this is the, the plot of this stupid episode. No one cares. I don't care about this. This doesn't feel like finale, to be honest. This, there is no much action. There should be one action scene to the fucking series. And yeah, basically just Adar just have some talk with the orcs. You are our master. What the land? It's not the this fucking land. This is our land now. And it's gonna called Adar. Adar. Let's go. End of the episode. Six out of ten. It was boring. I don't care about those characters. To be honest, the story is not good. I'm gonna say the story is boring as hell, and I don't care about those characters. Kill the Harfoots, kill fucking everyone. So, yeah, this is my review. It was fucking boring. Six out of ten. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.